call vote. A motion and roll call vote. Mr. Baddock, you're going to make that motion? I'll make that motion. Second. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, we need a roll call vote. Mr. Grader? Aye. Mr. Bannock? Here. Mr. Mish? Aye. Your name's on there. Okay, we are back in open session. Mm -hmm. yeah. First order of business to approve the minutes. Everyone is reviewed. I need a motion. Approve the Aye. minutes. Approve. Second, Grader? Yep. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, Dan, here we go. Correspondence? Uh, there's an email that we received last week from HR. Okay. Concerning vacation time use, prior approval, written approval, and other assorted things. What I'd like you guys to do, I mean, you can read it, it's in there, is to vote to authorize me to approve Janice's vacation. And for me just to have to notify you, they, it seems a little bit excessive that they want a written authorization. It doesn't say how far in advance, why it can be denied. I let you guys know when I'm taking a week off, well in advance. If I'm taking a day yeah. off, usually I texted you the other day saying I'm taking Friday off. Right. Dan always notifies the chairman. And, yeah. And uh, it's... And I notify Carolyn when I'm out for a day or taking vacation. Right. It's the, a vote to allow me to approve Janice's and just for me to... I'll make a know. motion that you... Motion. So do. Second by greater. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Yeah, it'll stream streamline it in here. And should work well. Do our vacation days get counted too? <laughs> Leave the door open, please. Yeah. Oh, you're not. Bye bye. Uh, the other thing is the MAO newsletter. Yep. That's eight pages for your review. And there was nothing on number 1D. Uh, motor vehicle excise, which you're signing now, we just need a motion to approve. There were 12 2023 abatement for 761. And one 2022 abatement for 2380. Mr. Grader, I will entertain that motion. Second. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We have the FY23 form CP1, which is right here. This needs to be approved. The accountant filled this out. Uh, everything on it is right. We just need to sign it, and I'll go into Gateway tomorrow and authorize but a motion to sign off on this. Yep. Motion to. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, the next item, number four, is uh, a memo from Amy Parsons with a twenty-three page board code of conduct manual. Oh God! Well, you've been acting up again, huh? <laughs> so, board boarding committee handbook, the code of conduct meetings. I would suggest that we do what the selectmen do is you look at this, read through it, and at our next meeting we can discuss it. Sounds good to me. Uh, they've adopted it for themselves and any boards that are underneath them and they sent this out. Is this all brand new or is this just this is all brand new? They all brand new. Prove this at their meeting on there's never been such a thing? August. No, there's some things that I don't um, hundred percent agree with the public speak time at every meeting, limiting people to three minutes. That's more of a case by case basis. We don't have to allow public speak time. You don't have to allow public speak time at any. Meeting. And typically, people come in. They're complaining about their values. They're discussing their values. 
it takes more than three minutes. That's for sure. If somebody comes in and wants to discuss their values and that meeting and go on a 20 minute rant or 20 minute discussion, as long as it's not a well, huge inconvenience, we do. As long as it's civil and yeah, we will listen. But I would recommend uh, just looking through this at your leisure. Okay. Was that a motion or what? <laughs> that's, re that. that's required reading. Uh, departmental budget. There's a sheet here. It's our budget up through, basically up through last week. I've also reduced the for the vision cloud hosting that took place last week. It went fairly well. They shut us down Thursday morning, pulled a, a backup off, and by I want to say one o'clock or one thirty in the afternoon, it was back up. We can now log in on this computer. Janice can log in on that one, and the laptop for the office that I have at home. I brought it in, and they did that. I can't log in from home to it. I have to log into our computer through the VPN. But if this computer ever crash and I bring the other laptop in to utilize it here, you can work both I can work. I can tie right into the server. And it only works through our IP address. So it has to be going through the town hall router. But all our major systems are now foggles. Building inspections program, radar, and vision. Uh, the other thing with that is we got new printers two weeks ago when I was on vacation. Janice's printer was replaced. I didn't get a printer. Which you tied in with the, hers? Well, I was under the impression we were both getting printers, but we didn't. So that one has just been refurbished. I got a maintenance kit last year, which I just installed this summer in August. That was almost three hundred dollars. It's a fuser and rollers and everything. Uh -huh. It's it's good. It's two toner cartridge or one brand new toner cartridge, manufacturer cartridge, and two remanufactured cartridges. What I want to do is buy another toner cartridge. A manufacturer HP toner cartridge that'll cover the next two years. This year and all of next fiscal year. The toners, but I don't want to get in trouble for not going through the printer because the toner is 375. Mm -hmm. It'll do about 25,000 pages. It's uncomfortable from here. Mm. We, the last time I bought toner, it was a two pack, and I want to say it was 625. Another three seventy five for each cartridge. Now it's up to seven fifty. Mm -hmm. I bought an Epson four years ago, and it's got that um, like I'll say water ink. It's not it's not regular ink, and that son of a gun use is so conservative. I ha haven't had to fill it yet, <laughs> and I've printed thousands of pages. Uh, it's just wonderful. What I would like to do is have you guys authorize a toner purchase out of our budget for that computer to get us through the rest of this fiscal year. Now, you, so you're you're buying one year? one toner that's going to cover us basically for calendar year twenty four. This one we have is going to when we go to run a full set of cards, we're going to need another one. Yeah. You know what you need, Dan. Yeah. I have full agreement with it. Hmm. I mean, we've got enough money in the budget to cover the purchase of one. I can't do multiples, but we yeah. can do one. No, that, that, you need a motion? Yeah. Make a motion that okay. you do that purchase. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Now we've got the next. Good one. This is not something that we need to do 
immediately. But I thought it's better to get a jump on this. Uh, did you guys sign? Let me just make sure. Okay, that's it. That's it. Uh, Janice was retiring, was retiring. Uh -oh. In no. April. She has since decided to stay through sometime in January. Oh. But she's going to work through the presidential election with Jess. That's going to be December and it's going to be part of January. Okay. Like any part of January. I'm going at some point in January. Where are you going? Anywhere <laughs> but here. <laughs> Just a lot. Uh, so now we're talking about budget wise. Let's see. Two of us leaving in January of 25, which actually the budget season that's going to start in July 1st of next year is the current is the budget that we're going to be looking at this fall. Yeah. So I need to know. You don't have to do it now, but you have to give some thought as to what priorities you're going to want in our fiscal 25 budget. If Janice and I are leaving, uh, do you want crossover so that there's somebody coming in before I leave for some kind of training? I mean, I'm assuming that when you hire somebody, you're not going to go up to McDonald's or Wendy's and go, yeah. Well, well no. yeah, you never know. <laughs> uh, if you want Pat, if you want to do after I go, coming back on occasion a couple times a month to assist, it's, can do that. it's not going to matter to me. It's just you need to give some thought as to how you want to handle this and how the select board wants to handle it. We actually have some say in it because I'm foreseeing that. The powers of be are going to be the deciding factor. Well, it, I, I don't know. I mean, you know. Your budget's going to be your budget. The budget that we propose and go to finance with and select board, they're going to have to do something. They know that when, when I leave and when Janice leaves, if they're lucky, they're going to get somebody. You, you guys are going to get somebody for what you're paying me. Everybody else that's come in that's left has come in 10 to 20 grand higher than the pay scale. Has been higher. So, I mean, is it close? I think it's close. I don't think you're going to have a hard time getting somebody for what you're going to be paying me next year to, to start. But there's going to be, there has to be some kind of care crossover between the two person leaving person coming in just to know where things are, especially if Janice is going early or staying you later, did. which means the same time. You're leaving in 25? January of 25. January of 25. If you say it's December of 24, that makes it sound closer. 25 <laughs> sounds far away. No, so January it's, of 25 I, gives me a whole year's <laughs> vacation to pack on to the end. There you go. As opposed to January of December of 24, mm -hmm. I don't get any vacation carryover. It sounds like, yeah, 99 cents, but it's really a dollar. It's really a dollar, too, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, no, we'll have to think about how to think about handle it. Because we're still, I mean, it's the first week of September. Yeah. They're going to ask for budget stuff in November. But I'm just being proactive and say, we right. think about this for the next four to six weeks before we get the budget information. Right. Want to have a going away party? <laughs> I mean, so Dan, so you were in East Hampton and then you left East Hampton. So how did they handle it way back then? Here or there? There. I left and they went through a rotating door. Six month, eight month, nine month, six month. Really? People just left. They they weren't paying there, and then they got some people that. But when you left there, were you called back there, or did you train the new person, or how did it? Was there a temporary person? When I left there, 
was there. They had somebody that was green. So th there was somebody in the office staffed. Because well, was it a secretary that was there for four years after I left, but not anybody that did. Right. Because because we're the whole office is blown you, up. So it's mean, a different. You could you could easily hire some. You're, you're going to have to grab somebody from another office. Yeah. Another town. Right. And can you find somebody? Maybe. Yeah. You might be able to. Well, yeah. no, for the money. Yeah. I mean, they, they replaced the person in East Hampton. Uh, the salary study that they had was done by the same company that the town is using, Hadley is using now. And they said the assessor in East Hampton should be seven for a salary. And that was two years ago, three years ago. And they just recently revised the stuff and the, the top salary is now up to 93. Holy shit. They're all in that level. Treasurer, town, okay. collector. All right. So, well, yeah, it's just going to be. Are they going to be willing to pay me what a new person what they were paying me? I don't think they want more. All right. So, well, that's food for thought. Let's yeah. move on. Uh, value recertification. There's a sheet. Probably three quarters of the way in the back. The residential is basically done. And I've got this thing right here. Yeah, I saw it. One, I'll catch it. Oh, we're in. You're past there. Oh, right there we go. Right there. So these are the the base rate changes. So a ranch was 155 a square foot. It's now going to 169 a square foot. So that's a 9% increase in the building, not the land. The land all the land sales indicate that the lots are fine. We yeah. don't need to adjust the land. These are the improved sales. So they get the ratios to work. The ranches are going up 9%. The split level are going up 11%. Call it 12. <laughs> Colonial is 8. Capes are fine where they are. Uh, bungalows are going up 10. Now this is building only, not... Right. So it's not a, an across the board. Conventionals are 6. Moderns are... are Five raised ranches are six point seven five. Multifamilies are about five and a half. The big one is mobile homes, the sixty one percent. However, there's three mobile homes in town. <laughs> the one that sold, we had it. I want to say it's one twenty. It sold for two hundred. So that's going up. Uh, where, where does it, this come from? That, you know, this was our. Last year's base rates. This is this year's base rates. I did the analysis. There's a who formulates it. This one, okay. We, yeah, uh, it's got the further on in. There's the breakdown. There's single. There were 47. Actually, it's 48 single family sales, with the median assessment sale ratio of 92 and a half, with a COB of seven percent. So that means most of the stuff was plus minus seven, clustered around 92 and a half. Half percent okay. sale price. Uh, the two and three families, you can't go by the numbers on here because we don't have enough sales to go with to utilize only calendar year 22. We need at least 40. We have less than 40, we're going to use 22 mm -hmm. and 21. So I haven't run, those. I've got the numbers, but they're not on these okay. reports because we've got two, three family and four single family. That are on here and it, it shows that it's less it's at 83 uh the three families at 95. but the, the 83 is offset the four sales there by all the sales we had last year that were at 94 percent basically so it's going to bring it up the average up and then there's a breakdown of each individual one there and then it, it breaks down by style the number uh this is by year built by port tile, by site index, if it's a five, six, or a seven. This is by sale price. This one is by lot size. This one is by building size. This one is sale date quarters. This mm. one is residential grade. So our average home 
The average quality home was at 92.7% assessment, the new assessment. The average plus 10 is at 91.1, and the average plus 20 is at 92.8. So it's everything. We need to be, we're at 92 and a half, and we need to be between 90 and 97 and a half on the medians for all the, the different classes, and it, it all works out. Uh, <clears throat> we review those. Two more things. I'm going to skip to number nine. I know I announced at the, the meeting last night, select board meeting, that we didn't mail out the chapter land apps, the applications. We normally send those out the last week of August. They're due October 1. The legis legislature changed it so that this year and going forward would do December 1st. So we're going to mail the forms out beginning to mid <coughs> next month. So if we mail them to the farmers now, it's going to sit on the bottom of their passenger side floor until Thanksgiving ish before they bring them in. So this way we won't let them out until yeah. later so they won't sit there as long, quite as long. Uh, the other one is capital planning committee. We can know where we're going. <laughs> I got them. Carolyn said she would like us to look at that for capital planning. Nominate Mr. Grady. No. I nominate Mr. Mr. Bannock. Yes. There's basically, right now, they've got two meetings the next two Mondays at 2 o'clock. Can't make him. I'm already booked. <laughs> yeah, no, he's not. And then that, that's basically it until spring. Not available. You're not. No, I'm not available. Nobody. Unfortunately, no one's here. I'll, I'm going to nominate Mr. Bannock and get a second. Second. You're walking home. You're walking home. <laughs> All those in favor say aye. 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 Any abst abstentions? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> two, Me. Two, one. Four. Love you, B. What the hell is this? Capital planning. Uh, it's capital planning. It's... Well, you know what? Come in tomorrow and have just swear it. It's basically you, you meet twice in the fall, twice in the spring. And you go over the capital projects. Linda's got a whole bunch. Of, it's already in here. I'm just going to print it up for you. And it's just a schedule like they're looking at the DPW building. They're looking at a new fire truck. They're looking at it. And you just make recommendations to town meeting. Your perspective and wisdom would be appreciated. Yeah. If you could make it. If you can't, you can't. But You're on there. It's, it's <clears throat> an assessor, a select board member, a finance committee member, School committee member. That'd be conflict of interest, though, at a town hour. meeting, because I'm a constable here. So. No, you're not. not yeah, you're saying saying you, you want me to get the front door and leave? I'll, I'll get it. You get all yeah. that? Okay. And it's a uh, um, citizen at large, which is Palmer Crescent. And they just need to have three people show up at the meeting. I know Mr. Grader was invaluable on his time served there. Yes, I was. If you're experienced, you ought to stay. No, I'm not. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. <laughs> okay, so we have a we have a member for that now. Yeah. <clears throat> I will have that. Thank you. Coming tomorrow sometime in the if I remember. after <laughs> like nine or ten, I think we get busy. I'm at the meetings as well. So I'm sorry? I'm at the meetings as well. I can defer it to you. We just go <laughs> we just go I I David's uh, David Phil is the one that's running. Okay. I'm there. Carolyn's there, and Linda is there. Scott McCarthy's there. Uh, the two chiefs are there. If they have anything on the agenda, that non So swing by here tomorrow sometime. Yeah, and I'll give you. I'll print the stuff off. Okay. It's, I mean, I can dig out the email. You're walking. <laughs> I could dig out the email, but it's probably easier. 
Because Jess has to swear again anyways. Okay, good. Beautiful. All right, what do we got left? Uh, we've got to get... The only other thing we got is items for future discussion classification hearings. I don't know when that's going to be. It's still way in advance when we would even consider this. I mean, it's going to be after fall town meetings yeah. sometime in November. Right. So I'll have... We got to finalize values and set values for uh, the end of next month, early October. So, so we're, we're still way in advance. I just have that on there. All right. So we we're not going to set a next meeting. I don't think uh, that we. No, just give some thought to the budget priorities because we still have. Months on that. Yeah. I mean, it's going to be the earliest. It's going to be and then the the fiscal twenty four evaluate commercial valuations. You got that stuff. Just okay. All right. So looking for motion to adjourn. Adjourn. Second. All those in favor. Aye. Aye.